Hello and welcome to another Blender Basics video. In this video we will be covering two different methods of duplication as well as applying the same material to two different objects. We will begin with three monkey heads, monkey 1, monkey 2, and monkey 3. With the first monkey, I will show you the common way of duplication which is to create an identical mesh. Objects and meshes are two separate concepts, so don't think of them in the same way. The object holds the information for object level changes. This means transforming it along an axis, or moving it, uh, scaling it, or rotating it, as long as it's in object mode, of course. Um, the mesh holds the data for the individual vertices. So the individual positions in relation to each other. Uh, you can change the mesh when you tab into edit mode and move around the vertices. So let's duplicate the first monkey using shift D and I'm just going to move it over along the X. So we've now created a new mesh and a new monkey or a new object. So you can see that up here in the outliner we have monkey 1 and then monkey 1.001 and then you can see we have two separate meshes, monkey and monkey point zero zero five. <coughs> so unless we had uh, created a, uh, a material for this monkey one object, um, which we hadn't, there is no connection between these two monkeys anymore. They started the same, but now we are free to change this one's mesh and have no effect on the other monkey. In fact, we can do all sorts of changes to this monkey and have absolutely no effect over here. If we had, however, given it a, uh, a material, there would be a connection there in that they would have the same material. So if you change the color of this monkey or of the original monkey, m the duplicated monkey one object would also have a change in the color. Um, so that's pretty much the only similarity between these two monkeys. And since there is no material, the monkeys have no connections. So let's go ahead and go over the next kind of duplication. Uh, the next one I'm going to use monkey 2 for. It creates a new object but applies the same mesh to the object. You can make object level changes without having an effect on the original object, but you cannot edit the mesh without having an effect. This is because they both share the same mesh. Uh, because of how the hierarchy in this outliner of Blender works, um, if we add a material to either mesh, it will be applied to both. We don't have the ability to create separate meshes for either because the material is applied on the mesh level and not on the obje object level. We can see this in the outliner, so I am actually going to go and create, I'm going to minimize those first, create a new material, and I'm also going to change this to Blender Render, um, turn off nodes, okay, so now we have a new material, and if we expand Monkey 2 and expand the mesh, we see that we have this material, material 0 0.001, or 0 0.001. And I'm just going to make this kind of an orangey color. So call it orange. And so now we can see that monkey 2 under monkey 0 0.001 mesh has an orange material. Now, um, so yeah, it's applied on the mesh level for materials. So now, Let's see. Using this kind of duplication should, or it does, decrease the size of the file because it only has to save one mesh and one material, not two or more for identical ones. So if we hit Shift D up here, it has a separate mesh and a separate material set if we want it to. And <coughs> it has to save both of those. And even though they're the same, both of them are saved into the file and calculated when you render. So let's go into the next 
Um, let's duplicate the second monkey by uh, hitting Alt and then D, and I'm just going to move it over along the X. So now we have created a new monkey2 object, but they both have the same mesh and the same material. Over here you can see that a, uh, a 2 hasn't appeared. Um, here, I'm just going to give this monkey an object. Um, we'll make it yellow. And yellow. And we'll give this guy the same yellow. So see, here you've got this little 2 that pops up. This is when you have multiple meshes using the same same material. This one, on the other hand, doesn't have that because it's on the same mesh. So monkey 0 0.001. And then monkey 2 has another monkey 0 0.001. It's the same mesh. So if we tab into edit mode, both monkeys are selected and put into edit mode. And if we change it, both monkeys are changed. So, kind of weird. Um, so there's that. The original monkey and, or the original monkey 2 object is changed and the duplicate is also changed. Uh, if we change the material, so if I make it blue instead of, or whatever color, um, both are changed because they are both sharing the same mesh, which it has the same um, same material applied to it. If we go and add a new material to it and I assign, it does it for both meshes as well. So there is the uh, other kind of duplication. You do that by doing Alt D. Um, it's kind of an interesting one. And now, finally, the last kind of duplication, or applying materials. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a cube. And we are going to give this monkey3 object a red material. Good enough. Um, so we've got this red material on this monkey3 object and we want this cube to have the uh, same material. And to do this, right click on the cube or the object without the material and then hold down shift and right click on the object with the uh, material or the desired material. If you hit control L and material, it will link the material to both objects. So now if we change this, both materials change. And once again, that little 2 pops up here, and we can separate them later if we want to. We don't have to do anything with it, though. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, please leave comments and suggestions below. If you enjoyed this, like it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for watching, and Goodbye.